Hello, everybody in movie trivia schmodown universe. This is such an amazing, amazing season. So here is why it is so important for Patreon. Patreon is the lifeblood of the movie trivia schmodown. It has been for a very long time. We are doing three pay-per-views versus and that will be one match one big match the throwdown also two big matches inside of the throwdown and then at the end of the month battlefield so that's five big pay-per-view matches and guess what if you are at the ten dollar level you get all three of them you're also going to get one commentary match a month so let's say that uh rachel cushing and mike kalinowski decide they're going to watch their san diego comic-con match together and they're going to comment on it you guys will get that at the ten dollar tier it up twenty dollar and up we are doing special q a's with certain patrons so dan merle just won a match well if you're the twenty dollar patron the link will be sent out you can join the stream and ask question right after his match and this i didn't even mention the exhibition you get an exhibition match also exhibition that will happen once a month that you guys will get patreon.com slash schmodown join today it's all going to be worth it but we thank you we thank you for your support and everything that you have done now go enjoy the match enjoy the program whatever you're watching on sen enjoy it and we'll see you next time Ladies and gentlemen, it has been already a very memorable night. Of course, John, the outlaw Roca winning tonight's match via TKO over Liz Shannon Miller. And where we are in the standings at the moment, at the moment, we are we see the Finstock exchange and the usual suspects are tied up now at seven. The dungeon needing this win here today. They can add two more points if Ben Bateman can take the victory, but the Finstock exchange the usual suspects at seven. If Mark Riley can get it done, then the Den will be in sole possession of second place here with eight points. But this is a big, big matchup here. This was something, Mark, I never knew. First of all, I can remember when these two joined up in anarchy and they were put together and Ben Bateman is pretty much like the Ben Bateman he is today, but he would just, he was still with team action at the time with Andrew guy. He got paired together uh, after um, the anarchy tournament with Mike Kalinowski, what he had done there. They get together, they're put together and they go on this extraordinary run and they just blow through the tournament. I mean, they beat, corruption uh, the two-time teams champions they've beaten the odd couple they've beaten so many teams uh, that it's it was incredible to see the run that they put on you like these guys are destined to be champions and then in spectacular they wound up losing to the shire wolves and and it just never really got back they had a few wins after that but they never really were in sync the way they were in the tournament yeah, you know, this is one of those rare matchups, Christian, where the faction standings and all the shakeups that could happen as a result of this match are not going to be the headline because this has become a feud, somewhat of a blood rivalry between Bateman and Riley. And those are the kind of matchups that have all of our fans and you and I licking our chops to announce. But for them, it's personal. This means more than just getting a few points for your faction. Sure, those are important at this early season juncture, but the biggest prize of all could be ego yeah i mean look when you look at what happened at the spectacular riley had said to bateman hey man let's let's do it again let's go on a run and and bateman just straight out told him he didn't want him he didn't trust him anymore and he and he, he didn't do it in a very nice way he did it in a way where he pretty much kind of kicked riley to the curb and i said you sure you want to do this this way man and then it it knew you knew this was going to happen the fact that it happened so early and the fact that the, that it is basically riley had if you look at record wise in singles had a better year than bateman did sure bateman had a had some big uh 
almost beat Merle twice, but he almost did. Riley went pretty far in the tournament. Riley did better in that team's match when they lost to Shazam. But Riley's always the one that seems to get the 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 crap from the from the audience and ah, he doesn't have it anymore. He doesn't is this. And it was Riley who had the stronger season overall uh, last year when you look at at numbers. So he's on the den. Obviously, Bateman goes to the dungeon. That's another thing Riley might be. Might, Riley went in the draft. Riley might have a chip on his shoulder. You don't know what to expect. What kind of, We haven't seen Mark Riley at all this season. So who knows what we're going to get? Yeah, war in the context of either the Schmodown or Hot Shots Part 2 is indeed fantastic because of matchups like what we're all about to witness. Ben Bateman, with a win here today, can fully free himself from his prior chains and fly on to wherever his career takes him with his new faction. Mark Yodi Riley, with a victory over Ben Bateman here tonight, could put the league on notice that Yodi, there's a reason why we named the award after him. Well... We are going to find out how these two friends, now bitter rivals, came to be enemies. Here we go. You and I can go on another run. And if we can't figure it out with Gucci, then we have two of the biggest free agents on the market right now. You and I go out hot. We take 2021 next year. Come on, man. What do you think? (laughs) Yeah. What do I think? In the team tournament, the Ultimate Schmodown Team Tournament 2018, the theme is anarchy. He's back, guys. Yodi Riley, uh, Mark Yodi Riley, is in the, the tournament, the and his teammate is my favorite guy, <laughs> Ben the Boss Bateman. <laughs> Mark, I wish you all the best. I mean, Riley, we had a good run. We we did. We had a we had a good run. We did a lot of good stuff together, man. Uh, we got we got close. I mean, you even invited me to your wedding, man. I mean, I, I feel like we, a lot happened in that time, and we beat some great teams. You know, we beat Corruption, Odd Couple. I, in our day and at our peak, I mean, we were we were great when you still had. It. Sure you want to do this? Like this. Well, let me put it to you this way. I'm more sure about this than I am trusting you with the two-point question ever again. How's that? So that's it then. Yeah. Okay. Former teammates, former friends, former brothers, you might say, Ben Bateman and Mark Riley clash in the main event of the first ever Schmodown Battlefield. I am going to destroy one of the legends of the game on Friday because I'm prepared. Okay. Ben Bateman, I've been around this league for so long that you weren't even born yet. Hello, just having a little tubby, relaxing before the big match. Why do you get Mark Riley? You get a known solid entity. John Kaiser role is was last place last season. It's just gonna be such a bummer when he's last place again. Ben Bateman is a world-class athlete. He lives on the big side of town. You live in a hotel room playing Crash Bandicoot on Twitch for the six people who still support your career. I'll keep it brief. I held your hand through big matches, small, until your hands got so shaky, I had to let you go. That's what you do with dead weight. Ben bait and switch? The stomping and whining isn't legal this season, so I don't know how he plans on winning. Because uh, I am that good, and I am, and have been, around that long. See if you can find yourself some other old timers that tell Schmodown war stories. I used to be a Schmodown pro. It's a tough racket. Just so you get it clear, you get it clear. I'm the boss. I'm very excited to finally see you actually open that briefcase because we played a lot of matches together and there's nothing in that briefcase except your hopes and dreams that are going to go away because I can't wait to beat you. 
I told you to stay out of my way. I told you to stay away from me. Riley, you don't want anything to do with me. We're gonna ride like crisscross. We're gonna ride like the wind. And that wind is gonna crash your sail, baby. I'm going to look forward to destroying your legacy. I'll see you out there. Well, I am hyped. I was hyped before. I'm even more hyped now. And it's it's interesting because, you know, you see those old shots of, uh, of Riley when he's got the championship. And he's been in so many big game matches. Now, he hasn't been on, uh, on the singles platform like this in, in a little bit. He was in the tournament, obviously. But the big events, he used to, like, really be uh, love doing them, whether it was the triple threat with Merle and Roka, the big matches with Roka, the big matches with, with Merle. Uh, and now... He's got this big match against his former teammate that could catapult him back into the title picture that maybe gets him another match uh, with John Roca. So the idea of a comeback for Riley is amazing. But then you have Bateman, who's been calling his shot, saying this is his year. He knows how much he has to win and how much it means to him, how the studying has changed. It, this, this, is a, this is a big, big match. Christian. It boils down to this. You have one of the great tactical players in our game versus the original Facty McFactorson. It's Friday night, and in the words of legendary Buffalo Bills coach Marv Levy, where else would you rather be than right here, right now? Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the movie trivia showdown. This is interesting. You saw that note. You saw inside there Mark Riley said, Who's the boss? It's hmm? very interesting. I just got this note. Introducing first. Representing the den. With a record of 13 wins, 8 defeats, and 4 knockouts. He is the former movie trivia schmodown champion of the world, Mark Eody Riley. Yo, oh, hi, boys. I got to ask, man, you're coming out to the theme of who's the boss. You said who's the boss taking the theme of who's the boss and sticking with it i like the moxie man how are you feeling oh i'm good i'm i'm feeling good christian i mean that song means a lot to me has a kind of a superman kind of quality to it uh that i wanted to keep uh keep going here so uh, why not keep it you know mark we see the superman poster and we see the et shirt but i'm more interested in that thing on top of your gorgeous striking head of hair. This is Amity Island. And Amity sure. Island is the setting for a classic film called Jaws. So I'm just going to lob you a softball, put it up here on the tee. If mm. this match is the movie Jaws, who are you and who's Ben Bateman? Well, that's easy. I'm Chief Brody and Ben Bateman is the shark that's going to get the, uh, you know, the, the, the tank in his mouth. And I'm going to say, smile, you son of a bitch. And then I'm going to explode the boss is that is that what you're looking for uh mark it's a good yeah, question I, I might have set up riley for a swear so you can put five dollars in the jar for me That's, all right because uh, riley what i will say like you as i mentioned coming into this you used to be in these kind of big high profile feuds whether it was with roca or whoever and this type of stage you, you know not in the teams obviously but in the singles you haven't been in quite a while and now right. is against your former partner has he fired you up has his arrogance made you kind of it, it, it is reminiscent of the old roca match when you took the title isn't it? it it feels that way doesn't it yeah it's uh it's a it's a lot of it's very similar in this christian mark is that there's a lot of talking i you know they always seem to go after me you know, there always seems to be like some like I really make people uncomfortable in this league because I've, I've done so much, I want to say. But I'm also like that guy that I try real hard and I have fun with this, this game. And Bateman, I'm just I'm just tired of it. I'm tired of the, the, the talk and I'm tired of the 
You know, has he enjoyed a movie in 30 years? I don't think so. The studying is to, you know, let's have fun. That's what this league needs. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm, that's why I'm representing three of my favorite movies on my body right now. Let's do this. Well, good to see you, champ. Happy to have you back. And his opponent, the boss, is back. Representing the dungeon with a record of 11 wins, 7 defeats, and 6 knockouts. He is the former movie trivia showdown champion of the world and the boss, the man! Ben, the boss, Bateman, brand new theme by David B, a brand new season, a brand new location. What's different? What's different this year, boss? Uh, I mean, Christian, I haven't played a match in six months. I've just been sitting here waiting, just waiting for whoever you were going to put in front of me, man. Whoever it was going to be, I knew I was going to be with the best faction in the business. I knew I was going to be here focused to get the job done. And I'm glad that you decided to keep your expectations low for my opponent because that's what his manager did when she took him where she took him with so many people ahead of him. And I feel good about it. I feel really good about it, man. I feel like this is a great position for me and it's just about winning now. So, you know, I'll take my shots, but I know exactly what I'm here to do. Yeah, Ben, never short on confidence. And tonight you have a chance to separate yourself from your own history with the previous faction. So in your own words, what would a victory over a legend like Mark Yodi Riley do for you tonight? Well, I expect to beat Mark Riley. I don't think I've made that a secret, but it's one step towards getting that belt back. I'm getting the singles belt back. I'm getting the team's belt back. But there are steps along the way. Unfortunately, things don't always go the right way and uh you know one question here or there is the difference between a good season and a disappointing season so that's what happened and mark riley is one step on the way but i will tell you mark riley was once great and i'm wondering him i'm wondering buddy any chance we can get that guy back today i'd love to see that guy well, let me ask you this, because what what was what was this dramatic turn? You went from this fact that you were you 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 decide. Look, you and Guy were partners at one point. You decided that it would have been better for you to stick with Riley to go, and you guys won the tournament. That was the move. It seems to me and to the audience that you seem to go where you think you can win, and you can you'll leave whoever it is in your wake if that's the case. And it looks like that happened with Riley. Is that accurate? Christian, I've said it a couple times this year, but I'm a mercenary, man. I'm going after rings. You know, people want to say this thing, and I've heard it here and there about it. you went to the dungeon and you got the greatest of all time to be your teammate and all this stuff and LeBron James this. And I won my title. I, I earned my stripes. Now I just want to add to it. So you put yourself in the best position to do it. I put myself with the best manager, a team that was willing to support me a great teammate who was with you you know what i did earlier today i spent over an hour on the phone talking through strategy with the best player of all time because we don't have to agree on everything all the time christian we don't have to be best friends but we know how important bringing glory to the dungeon is that's why i signed up with the dungeon that's why dan signed up for the dungeon and that's why kaiser truly is redefining greatness as a leader in the schmodown this year all right, well, let's get to the rules of round number one. Here we go. Round number one features eight questions from eight different corners of movie trivia, Schmodown know-how. Each question is worth a point. There is no penalty for missing a question. There is no stealing in round number one. As soon as we ask the question, you have about 15 seconds to get that correct answer on to whatever writing surface you prefer. Once we ask you by name or nickname, please show what you wrote to your camera at the same time you verbalize your attempt into the microphone. 
Each competitor has three usages of the JTE rule throughout the duration of the match. Name for famed schmoes, no intern, then engineer JTE. I'm not sure you heard a question right. You want to buy yourself another 15 seconds. Use a JTE rule. You also each have one challenge that was probably going to be used tonight. If you think something's fishy, didn't like the way a ruling happened, bring in your manager. They'll confirm and ratify that said challenge is taking place. All right. So we ask the boss, are you ready? Of course I'm ready, Christian. Riley, are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Then let's get ready to Schmodown. Mark, round number one, you start this time. Oh, thank you, partner. And note to everyone watching and our two competitors, should your camera freeze mid-question, we're going to go on audio cues unless further tech issues happen in the spirit of fairness. Your first question comes in the category of romantic comedies, or as I invented in sixth grade, rom-coms. For one point, here we go. Which actress co-starred? in the rom-coms Forgetting Sarah Marshall and Friends with Benefits. And the match is underway, Christian, and you can feel the intensity radiating off my laptop. Then seconds, you just know that these two are just sizing each other up. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, hands up. Riley, pens down. And we start with Ben. Got Mila Kunis. Yes, Riley. Kristen Bell, I missed it. All right, so Bateman. It's a good start, start Riley. It's a good start. One zero. Nice one suit, zero. Bateman. All right, now here we go. Back and forth. They're ready with the insults. They go, and we start with question two. Comic book movies. Ah, uh, it's a good day. Which actor plays the villainous Maxwell Lord in Wonder, uh, Wonder Woman, nineteen eighty four? You know, Christian, I'm not much of a reader, so the only 1984 I recognize is the one right there. Can you see oh, it? Yeah, I can. It's nice. I like it. Yeah, it's nice. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, hands up, please. Pens down, hands up, Riley. And you got? Yeah, Pedro Pascal. Yes. Ben. Glad you didn't write. Uh, I'm glad you didn't write Gal Gadot there, but uh, yeah. Pedro Pascal. Yeah, huh? yeah. I don't know why I would, but that's your suit is tight again. We'll loosen. 2-1. Two, 2-1. One. Two, one. All right, here's the next one. <laughs> Christian, you feel like you're in the first round of a boxing match and the boxers just keep hugging each other and we got to separate them? Yeah. Your question. The headbutt. Third, in round number one. It's in the category of Oscars. This is a ceremony that's usually held with a host for one point. Who received Oscar nominations for his performances in the films Bonnie and Clyde, Mississippi Burning, and Unforgiven, the latter of which... He won for. He just, way, it, was, it was just a classier worded question, and it's about Oscars. So the writers really know what they're doing. Well, they know at least Riley and they will have the class in this match. Five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. Pens down, please. And Ben Bateman. I had Gene Hackman. You had it right. Riley. Gene Hackman. Three, two. Three, two, the boss keeps his lead as we get to question number four. This is new releases. Who directed Pete Davidson in the 2020 comedy, The King of Staten Island? I think it goes without saying, but Christian, we should just remind everyone that, uh, God, Gene Hackman's a good actor. I miss him so. Oh, he's so good. He was one of my favorites. Ooh. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. Pens down, please. And we start with Riley. Judd Apatow. Yes. And Ben. I, too, wrote Judd Apatow. Four, three. Question five, Mark. All right. Back and forth we go. And your fifth question. Ben, you might be familiar with this category. Action adventure. Mm. For a point, which actor starred in the 1990s action films Passenger 57? Drop Zone and Murder at 1600. It's very it's surreal. Good question. To it's watch question. Do, do this, considering all the love that was there before, clearly. There was so I much can't even love. share my whiskey with this guy, right? Five. Like the old days. I can't even do Four. it. It's digital, you know? Three. It's, it's two. Cool. He wouldn't know to do this. One. Pens down, please. Pens down, please. And Ben Bateman. Uh, righteous. And Wesley Snipes. Yes, Riley. Wesley Snipes. I five, had it, yeah, Ben. Five four, <laughs> five four. A lot of smiling, a lot of jabbing, and the jabbing continues as we get to question number six. Comedies. 
<laughs> Ellis, man. I'll yeah. take that. Yeah. What 2007 comedy has the following tagline? They're bad boys. They're diehards. They're lethal weapons. A movie about us? <laughs> this match. Schmoe's no biopic. Coming soon to Quibi. I like it. Five, four, three, two. Repeat the question. First one. Here it is. First one. End. What 2000 co- 2007 comedy has the following tagline? They're bad boys. They're diehards. They're lethal weapons. It's going to be a seesaw match, I feel like, partner. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, hands up. Riley? The other guys? It's incorrect. And Bateman? You guys still hear me? It looks like I've frozen. You, you did fr- freeze. But you can still hear me? Yeah. Yep. Okay, so I'm holding up hot fuzz here. I'm going to reload. Um, I don't really know how to show this to you. I don't know if that's right. That's what I'm holding up, though. It is, that is correct. That is correct. So, all right. Um, that's right. Dear God. Ben, can we hear you? Can you hit a uh, button on that keyboard? Can you hear me? I, gotcha. I can hear you. I can hear you. All right, so you still got I got hot fuzz up there. I'm yeah. going to, I think between rounds here, I'll try to switch it up. All right, so we have at the moment Ben Bateman, six, Mark Riley, four, as we get to question number seven. That's right, and that is in the category of mystery. And no, we're not talking about Ben's technological setup for a point. Ryan Gosling plays a private detective Holland March in what 2016 film from director Shane Black? You know, Christian, you see a little glitch like that, and you say, how the hell did we make it through season seven? I think the answer is love. I don't know. Gotta love the digital era. Gotta love it. Just great. It's great for all of us. It's so fun. Thank you. (laughs) Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, hands up, please. And Bateman. I have the nice guys. Yes, Riley. The nice guys. There you go. Okay. So uh, right now, the score is 7-5. Bateman has an opportunity to get a perfect round here, should he answer this question. And here is the question. The 80s movies. It's 1980s. Here we go. Like that category around. Who starred as Todd Howard, a teenager who discovers that he is a werewolf in 1987's Teen Wolf 2? Man, talk about a weird day that must have been, huh? That move, this movie. This yeah, moment. same thing happened to Josh McCuga. And five, four, three, two, one. Hands down, hands up, please. And Mark Riley. It'd be Jason Bateman. That's correct. Bateman. Didn't have it. Didn't have it. All right. So that's <laughs> a massive, massive pull there. Riley uh, is able to go within one, and Bateman misses the opportunity to go up by three, and that is a big, big round. Uh, so far, one point separates Bateman and Riley as we get into round number two. Round number two is the wheel round, the wheel of fate, doom, and justice. Round and round and round it goes. Once it settles on a category, a competitor who spun it with their mind or the force, depending on what religion you believe in, is going to field four questions in that particular round. Each question is worth two points. No penalty for missing a question. Question. However, stealing is available in round number two. So if you're not sure of the answer, might want to ask us for multiple choice. I'll give you four options, one of which is the correct answer. At that point, the value of the question goes down to one. And it is a closer game than it looked like after that first question, Christian. Certainly, it's only a one-point difference between Riley and Bateman, but it is Bateman with the lead. And so, Ben, it is your call. Do you want to spin that wheel first, or do you want to defer to your opponent, who I believe you still have admiration for? Oh, yeah. He's, he's, he's great. He's hilarious. He's adorable. He's a- I'm going to let him spin first. Um, I'm going to defer. And while I do that, I'm going to unplug and replug the setup to see if I can avoid freezing. Because I think it's going to happen. Anyway. Yeah, go ahead. And Kate, you got 60 seconds. Hey. <laughs> oh, my friend. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Yodi, 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 yo. What wait, is oh, up? Do you, you want to see, see my impression of Ben Bateman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, yeah. <laughs> 
you know? Oh, Ugh. God, it's good. It's good. Uh, uh, <laughs> Buddy, you look loose. You're having fun. This is what we wanted. Right, it's a right. one-point game. That means nothing right now. No, no, that 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 got me. And, uh, you know, a couple slip-ups there. But that's, uh, that's uh, you know, I'm feeling good Guess right what? now. They're in the past. They're in the past. <laughs> and, One yeah. down. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, oh there's God. a lot of game left here. A lot of game left. You know what? I was thinking if, um, if if Ben Bateman had an airline and you asked for a pillow, he'd give you one this big. <laughs> you know what I mean? He just has everything supersized. You know? What's that whiteboard? Did he get it from yeah. the classroom? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we oh, got to yeah. get the wheel. Here comes Should the wheel. Spin? Give that sucker up. Yeah. Come on. Well, the dynamic here between Riley and... Ugh. Christian, stop talking. No, I can't do that. It's part of the job. He's just the worst. And here's uh, the, oh, look at this. Christian luck again. Goes again. Look at the luck for Riley. Working wow. in here. Spinner's huh. choice. Okay. Six seconds starting now. I mean, you know what you want to do. I, you know, I, I, I put it on there for a reason. Yeah, we put Spinner's choice on for a reason. We put that we on it. there for a reason. But, I mean, I, I you know, it's, it's, it's Bateman. It's, it's... Uh, you know, I'm going with Superman movies. That's Superman movies. All right. Hey, can you hear me? I yeah. Can hear you. Can hear you. All right. So Mark Riley is going to get four questions in the realm of Superman movies. Superman movies. All right, Riley. Uh, all right. Here we go. Uh, Mark. Christian, I am always ready to ask questions about Superman films. Mark Riley, here we are talking about... That fella who wears that thing on his chest, and I don't remember what it stands for. Superman movies it is, and we are about to ask the questions in that particular realm. Soon as we find in the document where the Superman questions are. Good, 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 good. Yeah, I, I, I got it, Mark. I got there it. we go. You have it? Go ahead, Christian. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. All right, starting with Mark Riley. Mark, to date, how many times has Henry Cavill played Superman? Uh, is that including this Justice League movie that just came out? Justice League counts as one. Um, Five, four, three, two, one. Three. That is correct for two points. Here is the next question, Mark. Okay. In Superman 2, there is a hostage situation involving terrorists taking over which landmark? The Eiffel Tower. All right. All right. Two more points. And here's question three. What is the name of Lex Luthor's company in Batman versus Superman? Lex Corp. Two more points for Mark Riley. And Mark, for your final question, here it is. Who is credited as, credited as Superman's father, Jor-El, in Superman Returns? Marlon Brando. For two more points, Mark Riley clearing the board. 14-7. 14-7. And we are going to remove Mark Riley and bring in Kaiser. You know, Mark Riley comes in here today looking like a shrimp boat captain off the shore of Kodiak, Alaska. He has no, he's not a big deal. He has no class. Kate Mulligan, she looks like some jerk's wife in a Folgers coffee commercial from 1985. Living a lie. Nobody's that hot. Nobody gets that happy about a crappy cup of coffee. Ben Bateman, on the other hand, is the boss. He's got fans on every continent. He's got the biggest whiteboard, okay? And he only drinks the good stuff. So, boss... I'm gonna need you to hone in, use your 15 seconds, think through it like we do when we train in the dungeon, and baby, give this win a spiel, give this wheel a spin, this is your day. I couldn't be more fired up for you. Let's get this done. Here it is. Hey, Christian, can Ben make it a perfect four for four and get spinner's choice?
It could be. It could be. It's Spinner's it, Choice. This is un- four Spinner's Choice in the entire event. This is unprecedented. Never has happened ever. And it happens again. Unbelievable. All right. What do you got there, uh, guys? 60 seconds. Well, boss. This Feels is like. uh, this is an interesting question. There's so much we like here. I mean, Good honestly, deal. this is where we probably put this tree fort faction to sleep who's wasting our time, okay? But uh, I'm gonna leave this one to you. I, I, I know what I like, but I trust your instincts. You know you, you know what you wanna do, baby. I think let's go Tyler Perry. Good man. Yeah, I think so. I think last that's... season. Good memories of it. I think let's do it again. All right. What was that again, Bateman? I missed it. Uh, Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry. All right, Tyler Perry is the decision by Ben Bateman. Tyler Perry movies. All right, Mark. Hey, big time pay per view. Might as well hit Spinner's Choice and select what you feel comfortable with. And for Ben Bateman, that is Tyler Perry films. Ben, four question. Your first one for two points, unless you need multiple choice. Thank you. Tyler Perry appears as politician, diplomat, and general Colin Powell in what film? Vice. That is correct for two points. And we continue on. Bateman's round number two with question number two. Which Tyler Perry film has the tagline, Trick or Treat Fools? Five, four, three. Boo, a Madea Halloween. Got the title exactly correct, and that is good for two more points. So we move to Ben Bateman's penultimate question in round number two. He trails Mark Riley by three. All right, here's the next question. Many of the films directed by Tyler Perry, including Meet the Browns, take place in what southern United State? Five. Georgia. Two more points for Ben. And Christian, here's where we stand. Bateman has one more question in the world of Tyler Perry. That'll close out round two entirely. If he hits it right off the bat, he will take the lead into round number three. All right, here's the last question, Mark. Mr. Bateman, your question about Mr. Perry. Who plays a sadistic killer, Picasso, who the title character is trying to apprehend in Alex Cross? Five, four, three, two. Matthew Fox. The Dharma Initiative legend is correct for two points. And Christian, it's a one point ball game. Ben Bateman leads Mark Riley by a single point going into round three. Yeah, he's nice played round, really well. Nice they both round. played really well. Nice round, dude. One point lead, one point lead. Really well done by both. And now we get to the final round, round number three. How's it go, Mark? This is the round that will determine the match, lest we go to sudden death overtime. Round number three features three questions for each competitor. The questions are worth two points, then three points, then five points. No penalty for missing a question. There is no stealing in round number three. Just a test of you and how much is inside that noggin hidden under that gorgeous head of hair. We get those three questions partially from you. You give us three numbers. They can range from one to 20. They may not be the same integers as your opponent. So Ben Bateman, you lead by one. Congratulations on that, but the job is not yet done. You have the honor of giving us your three lucky numerals first. From one to 20, what feels fortunate? Let's go with uh, three, seven, and 17. Roger that. And then 17 for Bateman and for Riley. Let's go 12, nine, and eight. 12, nine, and eight. For Mark Riley. All right, so we are going to remove Mark Riley and bring in Kaiser. How you doing, guys? Boss, real quick. Happy belated uh, St. Patrick's Day to Riley and, and Mulligan. May the wind always be at your backs, preferably while standing on a tall bridge. Salute. My manager, the only one in the business, the only one that matters. Love it. This Kaiser. is where we we'll take care of business. Up. Use your 15 seconds. You got two JTEs. You're the master. 
You just put your put your head where it needs to be and let the let the questions come to you. This is a brand new game. It's zero zero, baby. I believe in you, boss. It's your day. Let's go out there and kick what's his name's tail in. Exactly. What's his name? We got this, Kaiser. We got this. Uh, right. We'll uh, surrender the rest of our time or whatever. All right. Thank you. We remove the morning to your laddies. Remove the dungeon and bring back the dead. The All best right. part but of waking up know. is victory in yeah. my cup. Let's sing it. See, how you doing, Kate? How's your night? I'm, can I tell you, I'm I'm like, you are loosening me up. You feel like a gummy to me right about now. Like I you feel, are just I feel, I feel gummy-ish. I feel gummy, yeah, yeah. You are just doing your thing. I love it. I love it, Riley. I love this. You got to just stay loose. You have all three of your JTEs left. I have all you three, get, yeah. You know? Yep. I didn't get points for not taking an epidural when I had a kid. Like, you're not going to get points for not using your JTs. Use them, baby. I'll use them when I need them. And yeah. uh, we got this. Three more questions if I, I need know. them. And, and by and, the uh, way, yeah. the amount of times, this is this is classic choke territory. Yeah, I know. Like, I know. You know why? You know why your hands are actually shaky? Because you've had to try not to choke them so many times. Choke them out today, baby. Choke them out. This is the meeting we had earlier. Yes, correct. Five seconds. Uh, you got this, boo. All Let's right. go. Thank you, Kate. All right, I actually think that was the funniest line Kate's ever said for as long as I know her. That epidural line was classic. Really yeah, good. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty She's good. good. She's Hates good. Credit. All right. So now we get to round number three. This is it. Mark Riley, we start with you here. Good. And you chose category 12. That's biopics. Riley's got one JT left. Is that right? Riley. Got three, Ben. Riley has three oh, left. Three. Okay. Riley has three. You have two. All right. Here is the question for Mark Riley in biopics. Riley, who plays Truman Capote in the Bennett Miller directed film Capote? Toby Jones. Philip Seymour Hoffman. Yeah. Philip Seymour yes. Hoffman. All right, here is That's all right. Here is the three point question. Who's right? the boss? To jump it back in. We're gonna hmm. jump to rom coms is the point number nine. Number nine. I'll shake my hands for you, Riley. I'll shake them for you. All right, here you go. Eh, quiet over there, would you? Don't change your suit. Ben, do not taunt during the question. I won't. That's all, all preamble, Christian. You got this. Riley, rom coms. In Sweet Home, Alabama, who plays Reese Witherspoon's socialite fiance, Andrew? Patrick Dempsey. That's correct. For three points. All right. So we shoot back over to Ben Bateman here, who can tie the game here with his two pointer mark. That's right, Christian. Ben Bateman for his two point question, selected number three. And Mark Mosley's MVP number corresponds to the category of disaster movies. All right. And your question. Who directed the 1998 reimagining of Godzilla? Five. Roland cool. Emmerich. Christian, we're all tied up 17 apiece. All right, Mark, and now it is time for Ben Bateman's three-point question. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready, waiting, able, and now Ben Bateman selected Joe Theismann's legendary number seven for his three-point question. Ben, Mr. Theismann corresponds to the category of Disney movies. All right. They make quite a lot of good ones out here for three points. And a three-point lead. Excuse me. In which 2018 Disney film will you find the Hundred Acre Wood and hear about creatures known as heffalumps and woozles? Christian Ben Bateman has two JT Eagles remaining. Five, four, three, two. Repeat the question. One. Second okay. one. You have one remaining. Category is Disney. In which 2018 Disney film will you find the Hundred Acre Wood and hear about creatures known as heffalumps and woozles? Five. 
five, four, three, two, Christopher one. Robin. Christian, that is correct. And so now Ben Bateman has a three-point lead and forces the five-pointer of Mark Riley to be answered correctly. All right, Mark. So this is where it comes down to. So at the moment, the score is 2017. Riley hits this. He sets it back to Bateman for Bateman to answer his five. However, if he misses it, Ben Bateman will get the victory. All right, Mark. You have all three JTEs available, available, and you chose category eight, and that is remakes and reboots. Here is the five point question. What 2014 remake of a 1980s romance movie stars Gabriella Wilde, Alex Pettifer, and Bruce Greenwood? Five, four, three, two. Repeat the question. First one. What 2014 remake of a 1980s romance movie stars Gabriella Wilde, Alex Pettifer, and Bruce Greenwood? Five, four, three, to repeat the question second one what 2014 remake of a 1980s romance movie stars gabriella wild alex pettifer and bruce greenwood five four three two plus one repeat what 2014 remake of a 1980s romance movie stars Gabriella Wilde, Alex Pettifer, and Bruce Greenwood? Five, four, three, two. Some kind of wonderful. The Boss. And your winner! Ladies and gentlemen, Ben, the boss, Bateman. Bateman good does day, it. Kaiser. It's a good day. Bateman does it. He takes the victory from Mark Yodi Riley, and they pick up a big two points as Bateman takes the victory here over his former teammate and friend. All right, gentlemen, you're going to be with Jen Sturger in the waiting room. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Whew, what a match, Christian. I don't know what that gyration of Kaiser's was. I do know what that smile on Ben Bateman's face was. He chose going in the schmodown over friendship. And it appears, at least as far as this match is concerned, he made the right decision. Yeah, I mean, Bateman definitely taunted him throughout the match. He, he messed with him. He didn't really show a lot of uh, sportsmanship, I think, to him. But he, but nonetheless, he he got the job done. He made it happen. He won the match. He got the victory, and he picked up two points. And he he, he did it, you know. Uh, but Riley played phenomenally. Riley Riley did what he had to do. He stayed in the pocket. I really like the dynamic between Mark Riley and Kate Mulligan. I think they have a fun dynamic. I think Mark just got stuck with something in that. Uh, you know what it was? I think the thing that really got him was the biopics one, the Truman Capote one. I think that's the one he's going to be kicking himself over. I think he knows that answer. I think he knew it. And I think that he had he hit that. We're talking about a different game here for sure. Yeah, we're talking about that zone of Mark Riley's pre-match. And sometimes you just get locked in. In 1992, you had two Columbus movies. In 98, you had two comments about the hit Earth movies. And we did have two different Truman Capote movies. Toby Jones was one. So it was a 50-50 shot. But the answer we were looking for Philip Seymour Hoffman and sometimes it comes down to a game of inches or a game of which theater you walked into in the multiplex. 
Yeah, it was a massive victory, though, for Ben Bateman. He needed to get this done. He got it done. But I think that Mark Yodi Riley also won here tonight uh, on a lot of different reasons. But I think that he really won here tonight with uh, the way that he played, his attitude throughout it. He had someone taunting him the whole time. I think that the audience really, really got behind him and deservedly so. He's been uh, he's been someone who's just you could tell the kind of heart that he's got. You can tell the kind of uh, you can tell his character. And I think that that came through tonight in in leaps and bounds so we are going to be talking to i don't know about character on this side but we're gonna we're gonna be talking to ben bateman and kaiser led by jen sturger jen take it away Ooh, mama kaiser pleasure to see you congratulations oh. ben uh i feel like this match probably has an extra layer of um of um for you considering it's against your old teammate Look, when you're out there, it's your job to rattle the cage of whoever you're playing, Jen. And my old teammate, Mark Riley, is that guy. Or uh, you could just play is. the game, you know? That could that could work, too. It's all the game, Jen. It's all the game, okay? <sighs> he was the guy that was in front of me today. But I'll tell you something. The world and myself should have all of the respect in the world for Mark Riley, the original champ. But I'm never going to show it. They do. Out there. And, I, and I was happy. And I was very happy with the way things went. So that's what I have to say. Actually, they do have the world of respect for Mark Riley. I can't say the exact same for you, unfortunately. Um, listen, can we just, why do you have to play the game the way that you do? Like, is it the fact that you don't think that you can rely on your skill set? Like, what is it, Ben? I mean, you play to you win. Talk about relying we play on to win. Skill set. I, they asked me a Teen Wolf 2 question in round one, and I otherwise went 100% today. I think my skill set's just fine. Um, you know, they threw him a bone, obviously, in round one with that question. Not, I'm not saying there was any tampering. I just mean he got lucky that there was a Teen Wolf 2 question in round one. Totally fine. Uh, bottom line, Jen, is that I, I don't think that there's anything I'm doing that's not allowed within the rules of the game. We have a comprehensive rule book. It doesn't say anything in there about me not being able to rattle Mark Riley's cage in a match. It's just how I play the game. I'm sorry, I, I can respectfully disagree. Kaiser, you have so many amazing players on your team and most of them play the game um, with a lot of class. But I have to say, like, I just, I can't get behind Ben's performance today despite being able to acknowledge that he won. I'm sorry. Like, I know I'm supposed to be impartial, but I'm I'm truly upset at the, at the behavior that took place during this match. And I think I speak for a lot of people watching this game. That's when great, I say that. Jen. That's great, Chad. I'm glad you have that opinion. Here's the thing. The rest of this league is a flop house. Okay, we are high class athletes. We are world class athletes. We only drink the good stuff. I don't know what's going on. Gucci's got a bunch of Oompa Loompas. He, you know, he's got a dossier. I got a boss and I got a goat. So you want to go to toe to toe, go get saddle sores back out here. If he wants to play a match against us, we'll take him on right now. He's coming off a big win. Jen, the, the point is this, me and the boss have been working and when I say every day, I mean every day. I'm not just trying to put on a show. Me and this man don't stop. He pulled Christopher Robin. Are you out of your mind? That's not an easy question to pull. He pulls that. Listen, Riley is the Yodi for a reason. He's beloved and he always will be a champion. Everybody knows that. It's not, it was not his day. Kate, on the other hand, I, I, I'm trying hard to think of something redeeming or nice to say about her. And I keep coming up blank and, you know, whatever. She drinks Folgers. I get the high price stuff from Bolivia. That's just the way it is. We're, we're world class athletes, Jen, and we're going to keep winning. That's what we're here to do. Well, with Bateman winning and Roca winning, uh, do you want Ben to face Roca? I should ask you, Ben, are you scared to face Roca? Do you think Roca would put up with the way you acted today? Or would that just be, would we get any answers done in this match is what I'd like to know. Or just be people yelling at each other the whole match. You get in the ring and you answer questions, Jen. And John, the outlaw row, because time has passed. We all know that. He can't hang with me. He doesn't even know what he's doing out there. Half the days he can't even remember his own damn name. Look, I think John Rocha. I hear he puts on a there. hell of a puppet show behind a U-Haul oh, on yeah. uh, Carson Street. He's he's just terrific, John Roca. And, and I'll tell you, Jen, the last time I played John Roca in singles, I got beat. You remember your losses far more than you remember your wins. It's just the nature of competition, and I hold on to that one. Oh, thank oh, God. Look at this. Good hold on to that one. I want you to hold on to that one. Oh. Do me a goddamn favor and never forget that one, you child. Good job beating up an old man. I'm sure that makes you feel good. But, pal, I'm a old man that fights back, so anytime you want to get in the ring, kid, I'm ready to smack that smirk 
right off your face. And you can tell your dime store, Bobby Heenan, I can't wait to do a puppet show for him. Trust me, he'll. I, I got some finger puppets I can help him use. That's for damn sure. All right, Rocco. First, don't don't call me pal. We're not friends. Second no, of all, we're not friends. You talk That's about sure, legends son. of this game like Mark Riley, and you're not in a match. Pay the man some respect. That man paved the way. He won the first championship before you ever got lucky to beat my teammate Dan Moore. Before that ever happened. Before that ever happened, Mark Riley laid mm -hmm. the groundwork for this league, and you no. owe him that respect. All he did he was, was just open as the likely door. to beat you today as you were to beat Liz Shannon Miller. That's Please. just the truth of where you all are in this league compared Please. to me, Roka. And I can't wait to go out there and knock that stupid hat off your head. It is going to be it. glorious. Don't waste your time, son. Come bring it. I've, belt, I've dealt with choke artists my whole life, so come bring it. Come bring it, seven-pointer. Come bring it, six-pointer. I can't wait. You can't get the job done when a person shows up to play you toe-to-toe -to -toe. we know that for a fact you're a one belt pony that's what you are a one belt pony you're never gonna see you're never gonna see the tag team belt again you're never gonna see the singles belt again because you're still gonna have to go through me for either one of those and i'm gonna smoke you son i ain't the player that beat you by one point last time i'm even better than i ever was check the stats check the accuracy rate Ben Bateman, I'm ready for you, kid. You want to come step in the ring with me? You can try all your antics like you did with Riley. None of it's going to work because I created you, and so I can destroy you. That's for damn sure. My team, my assistants. Oh, he's gone. He decided to drop the mic. What? Sorry, guys. I have no idea what just chin. happened. What's the schedule? Yeah, really, we got to sit here and listen to a guy who puts on Stetson to go pick up the mail? I mean, what a bum. What a raggedy bum. Someone needs to throw a lasso around his ankles, drag him around town. Maybe he gets some sense in that thick head of his. The point is this, Jen. Jen, we're winners. We're going to take some time tonight. We're going to go watch the Spielberg cut. It's a seven-hour extension of Lincoln. And we're fired up. I mean, there's a lot of good messages in that film. I'm a big fan of Daniel Day-Lewis. So it's a good day to be in a dungeon. Never mind that knucklehead. He will get taken care of. That whole faction will be decimated when they face us, Jen. Well, congratulations on your win today. Um, yeah, I'm just throwing it back to the desk at this point. You know, Jen, oh, nobody wants to talk to Bateman. Nobody wants to talk to Bateman today. I just keep getting hung up on left and right. The guy gets a win, all right? Doesn't matter to anybody. Whatever. <laughs> this whole thing. Yep. Yep. All right, we are back, ladies and gentlemen, and Ben Bateman, John Roca, going back and forth in the post interview and will we see that it sure looks like it's going to happen that will be an absolutely explosive explosive match and it was a nutty one here today to say the least thank you guys for joining us here today thank you for the patrons again if you are a ten dollar patron now you know why if you're buying for a reason uh the showdown live.com now you know why you want to see everything that goes on in the movie trivia showdown that's why day of and is it most important to watch it live yes it is so enjoy it hope you enjoyed it hope you enjoyed all of it we're going to talk to mark riley and kate mulligan who are standing by with jen sturger here we go oh, hi jen Hi guys. Oh, Obviously hi. not the way I <laughs> hi, wanted Ryan. to. Exactly. Obviously not the way I wanted to meet up with you both today. But Riley, I think I can speak for everyone when I say you proved again, even in defeat today, why you are the heart and soul of this league, sir, and why you have an award named after you. I, I appreciate that, Jen. That was a fun match. You know, it didn't go my way in the end, but you know, I think it shows. You know, a bunch of big mouths got up afterwards and they spoke for like, how long was that? I mean, that's ridiculous stuff there. This is movie trivia. We were having I actually fun. took a nap. I have you no did. idea. I saw yeah, the, I you did. I saw you disappear. You went to another dimension, Jen. Your professionalism is just absolutely next level. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the, the, the children you're, you're surrounding yourself with. Anyways, what a match. I did have fun. Kate, come on. How much fun did we have today? That was fun. You're just, yeah. you're just a stand-up guy, and I don't mean the movie. Well, thank you. There thank was, yeah. a, movie. There was <laughs> a movie. I knew a movie, Jen. Also, but I honestly, looked up real quick. Um, I looked up red face and chest hair, uh, just because I think something might be going on with Kaiser tonight. Uh, Seborrheic dermatitis, Kaiser. Mm. So probably needs a shot. Yeah, probably to needs clear a that shot. up. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Um, I'm worried about him. You know, I'm I really will say about though, Riley, I I do feel like I really enjoy this dynamic between you and Kate. Though I feel like. 
I saw a different Riley playing than I saw last season. You felt yeah. like you were rejuvenated. You felt like you were enjoying yourself despite all of the taunting and antics going on around you. And you really mm -hmm. stayed in the game until like the very, very end. And then again, I believe Mark explained it best when it was like, you know, when there's just kind of movies happening in the zeitgeist and you're like, which one was it? Like, that's kind of what you, you know, fell victim to here. Yeah, and that was an unfortunate one. Uh, I knew it was either one or the other and I and I froze up there because of that. Um, and that's a little bit of ring rust, you know, and that's 2020 being what it is and new kind of things happening for me. And then, you know, that five pointer though, what was it? I don't even know. We're actually know. in 2021 now, Riley. You should change your calendar. I'm just letting you is know. Right? I know it all runs together. <laughs> Riley, it's all it's all what one. What day is it? Terrible yeah, day. okay. Yeah. Look, it's Thursday, you know, right? <laughs> yeah. Playing Bateman today, are you shocked at all that your close friendship that you and Ben have has kind of dissolved into whatever the heck just took place? Yeah, he's kind of a despicable person now. I don't know what's going on with that. I mean, it's like, I think the, the, the need to win is so much that, you know, he, he burns bridges and he burns friendships. And, you know, there's, he's now on his third team, you know, after, you know, being thrown through a table and now this, you know, there's like, I mean, there's, there's a constant there when these teams break up. There seems to be somebody behind it and, uh, you know, Selfish comes to mind sometimes when you're playing with somebody like Ben Bateman. You know, the guy just has good luck to you, buddy. Yeah, you, good luck. Uh, you made, and also you a real made, blind made a good spot. home. Yeah. And also a real blind spot for answers that include his last name. So that's correct. Nice. Yeah, I thought for sure. Not so much, though. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> so obviously with this new version of Riley that we've seen, you know, this rejuvenated happy-go-lucky, dare I say, Riley. Um, sure. You know, how do we bounce back from this and where do you want to go next? Uh, you know, Kate and I are talking about that, and um, I'm excited just to keep playing. Uh, there's something that happens when you do your first match of the year, you know? You kind of shake some things off. That was no match to, to sneeze at, for sure. I have some stuff I like to work on, but um, I want to play. I want to play the next one, and then we're talking... I got some... Uh, I do have some ideas for teams, if, the, if that's there, and, um, you know, I I'd like to do something. I'm, I'm still here. That's, that's the thing. All the people in my old faction that want these belts and that, that's all fun. And they're going and they're studying and they're happy, like they're taking it. It's too much pressure. Someday it's all going to just come crumbling down. I watched it happen in a faction I was a part of. Now I'm in something where we have fun. We watch a movie for enjoyment. We get all we can from this league. It's time to have fun again, Jen. Kate knows this. Everybody knows this. Let's have fun. Let's watch movies. Why do we? Why are we here competing? Because we love movies. I don't love Wikipedia pages. I love <laughs> movies. And I'm going to watch movies and have fun and answer questions. You just say when. I love it. Like you said, it's a long season. That'd be like counting yourself season. out if you won, if you lost the very first day of, of uh, MLB, you know? It's like right. there's 162 games after that. Stay in your lane. Anyways, exactly. best of luck to you the rest of the season, Riley. Thank and you. Uh, once again, thanks for proving that you're a class act through and through. I appreciate that, Jen. Be sure. Back to the desk, guys. All right, thank you to Mark Riley, always a class act, and Kate Mulligan and the Den. Tough defeat here to the hands of his old, old partner and friend, Ben, the boss Bateman, who picks up the victory. So the standings as we have them right now, as the dungeon picks up two more points, the dungeon now, two more points. They are standing at four and one, 15 points there, and fin the Finstock Exchange. Usual suspects tied at second place. All right. So we now, Mark, are going to wrap this up. I thank everybody here for joining us, for everyone who has joined us on the Patreon, patreon.com slash Schmodown or the Schmodown Live. So many things happening next month. We have three big pay-per-views. We have the free-for-all coming up. We have all of these things that are coming up, and you guys can be a part of it. You go to patreon.com slash Schmodown or get them at the theschmodownlive.com. Look at all of the events, all of the spectacle, all of the enjoyment of cinema and the trivia that ensues that we offer here at the Movie Trivia Schmodown. And folks, just going to tell you this once. If you missed this live pay-per-view event, you're watching it on a replay. Thank you for doing so. We appreciate every click and like we get. But you really missed something special because, Christian, 
The more things change, the more they stay the same. That's not just a Cinderella song. That's actually in reference to Mark Yodi Riley, who even in a loss proved he has a head full of movie trivia knowledge to match his hair. And he earned the moniker of his new endeavor because he truly is an association of good people. Ben Bateman's still good at getting under people's skin just as well as he is tactically navigating his way around a tough match, getting that W today. Lightning Liz Shannon Miller proving her worth once again and that she is one of a kind in this league. Couldn't quite pull the magic against the outlaw who once again rode into town on a dusty horse and got himself a win as did everyone here watching tonight all across the world we thank you for your views your eyeballs your ears and most importantly your heart because that's what makes this community a family christian it was a good one it was a long one and it was enjoyable partner i think it's time for you to clock out and go grab a slice of pizza that i know has just been staring you in the face for the last three hours it's true. Well, and one more thing, guys. So obviously this Tuesday on Twitch, we have the FCL. If you didn't know about that, the FCL is going to debut on Twitch. But right now, that's first class. First class league is this Tuesday. Twitch, uh, uh, the Schmodown channel. And you can also head on over to the rundown and watch the rundown with uh, Frank Janish and PJ Campbell. PJ Campbell, that's going to also be going on to talk about this. Thank you so much. Thank you to Mark Ellis. Thank you to our great team, Jen Sturger. Every Everybody to John Roca, Liz Shannon Miller, Sam Levine, um, Finstock, Kaiser, Kate, everybody, Ben Bateman, Mark Riley, the whole crew. Thank you guys so much. Really appreciate it. Hope you had a good time. We will see you next time. Thank you, Mark.